So we started getting radio play, like seven, eight hundred radio stations around the country. We started getting even more press. And because we were getting so much attention, I started getting record label offers. I'll never forget the moment when the A&R rep has this discussion with me. And he says, Simon, we love your band. Like, we love everything about it. Everything that you guys are doing, it's incredible. We want to change your lead singer for someone who is white. Because Asian doesn't sell. And it's like, listen, you're never going to be covered by Pitchfork. You're never going to be in spin. You're never going to be covered by Billboard as long as you're an Asian band like this. You need to have someone who can be a front man and sell this thing. And from that moment on, I decided, no, we're going to do this thing independent. A good friend of mine who's an attorney says, Simon, you, you guys are touring, you're getting out there. I think you should file an application to register your trademark. It's actually important. It's very common for bands because if you don't have a registered trademark, oftentimes you won't actually get the final signature of a record label deal or sync licensing agencies won't work with you and it kind of costs you a lot of opportunities. A couple months later, after we filed out all that paperwork, I remember he calls me and he says, Hey Simon, we've got a problem with your application. We rejected your application because it's disparaging to persons of Asian descent. And I thought, Wait a second, disparaging, what does that actually mean? Wait, are they saying we're racist towards Asian people? I said, who did they find that said it was offensive? They said, well, nobody. So upon my attorney's recommendation, we decided to appeal. We decided to just fight this thing. We filed an appeal, we said, hey, slant means many different things. <laughs> You've approved Slant over 800 times. Why not this one? Well, they came back and they said, it's easy, these guys are too Asian. So we continued to fight and eventually got to the Court of Appeals for the Federal Circuit, fancy way of saying Federal Circuit, one step below the Supreme Court and we argue there. And all of a sudden, the Federal Circuit says, we don't care about any things they did. We don't care whether you're actually racist or not. What we care about is, does this violate the First Amendment? And a year and a half ago, we won. We killed it at the Federal Circuit. ACLU had our backs. I spent tens and tens of thousands of dollars on legal fees, had to get second, third, sometimes fourth jobs to pay those court fees. And all along, people were like, was it worth it? Like spending all that money, all that time, time you could have been touring, playing, and writing music, was it worth it? I said, yeah, of course. Because if this changes the law, it is totally worth it. This is why I think the work that my band does is so important. Because we're out there on the road having these kinds of conversations with people, talking about what racial identity means to us. And that record label guy who basically told me I would never be covered by all that stuff, I was like, we are Rolling Stone four times this year. We're on The Daily Show, we're on Conan O'Brien. Boom, mic drop. <laughs> Thank you guys so much, you guys are awesome.